welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock. This is Captain's Vlog. Uh, I'm vlogging from the GoPro today because we're going to be washing down the chase boat. Now, for those who don't know, our chase boat is an Axopar 37 ST from 2016. And I'm the captain on Motor Yacht AWOL, which is sat over there in the far left hand corner. And this is a chase boat, otherwise known as a tender. Uh, 37 feet with twin 350 Mercury outboards on the back. It's got two cabins, all covered up at the moment. You can see that it's been a bit dirty because the shed door was left open and uh, had quite a bit of rain coming with all the dust and stuff and all the work boats working. A uh, good wash, good clean detail. I'll show you guys how we do that in today's video. All right guys, so what we have here, we have our wash down brush. Got our products here. This is the two in one QPON, which we use. The very important speaker for the music. Uh, spray nine, this stuff we use on the Flexi Teak on the floor here. Then we've got microfiber um, pads here, you know, one or two in there to be washing down the boat. Deck pads, we, we, which we use again for the um, Flexi Teak on the floor with this product and then squeegee and then we've got a couple of chamois as well. So very important to remember, on real teak, you go against the grain, not with the grain. This is artificial teak, otherwise known as flexi teak. It doesn't matter which pattern you go in. So what we've done, we've washed down the superstructure and the top sides of the hull. We're just uh, finishing off the, um, the teak deck, well actually the flexi teak deck. Now I'm going to chamois, get rid of all those uh, water spots and then we're going to go and wash the hull. inside the chase boat now so you can see these here we we store all the exterior cushions obviously in the inside to protect it over the the winter months uh, from dust and dirt and things so it's nice and dry in here and then usually we leave these windows open we just close them to um, for the wash down it's got nice air coming through here so it's nice and tidy these have been professionally cleaned wrapped in in uh, plastic and then these are the exterior cushions and you can see it's quite a shame actually because these were actually all cleaned but uh got a little bit of corrosion there so what i'm going to do is clean all these up get some uh, wd-40 and uh hopefully it should be okay but uh that's actually come in no time at all to be honest um and then you can see here we leave all the hatches up so basically the reason we want to do that is to prevent any water that we may have missed because sometimes in some compartments you, you literally cannot access in order to dry and to clean. So what happens is with the water, you know, as much as we can clean, we just can't simply access it, is that you start getting mold and stuff. So you want to keep windows open, open all the hatches so it just dries naturally over the winter whilst we're here in the shed. 
so just bear in mind if you are running a small boat very important is that you know in the winter time when you are putting it away for the winter is don't keep everything closed because when you come back there's gonna be bad smells more than likely there'll be mold uh, even if it's as dry as you think it is there's always going to be compartments that you simply cannot access that may have water in them so in some cases if you're in a shipyard like we are we can come in we turn the fan on to move the air around open the windows let it all ventilate through to get rid of all that kind of moisture over the winter months so when we come in now as i breathe in it smells like a still like a new boat in here on some boats when it's being closed to the winter you open up you get that horrible kind of damp moldy smell which is what you don't want so you, you always want to have as much ventilation as you can at the same time to have too much ventilation because if you're in a shipyard like us it can be dust and stuff so you what we do is we have a cover that goes all the way over this and the cover comes down here on the outside and we leave these open so any dust is getting blocked by the cover but the air can still kind of come underneath the cover if that makes sense and then so yeah i'm actually quite happy in here it all looks pretty good uh just want to give these cushions a quick looking over and then what i'm going to do like all these kind of poppers and things here it just gets some vaseline and vaseline those things up um this would normally be the job of the chase boat captain but he's not starting until later on in the season because of covid 19. so between all of us we're doing some additional job jobs that we wouldn't normally do plus it reminds me of the days when i was doing like running lizzie i used to do all the wash downs do all the engineering work so it's uh it's nice to be back and not stuck on the bridge doing you know endless amount of emails and paperwork all the time so let's crack on with it Jason's just gone back to the boat just to get some WD-40 and some Vaseline for the poppers. Um, so these were actually quite interesting. These were fully clean before they went away. But what we think has happened is although we thought it was dry, there might have been some leftover salt water inside the cushion. And as it dries out, it pulls out the salt. That's why we've got a bit more salt here. Um, so bear that in mind as well, guys, that if you are putting cushions away, what I recommend is then leaving it completely unzipped and the cover off so you give enough time for the cushions to fully fully dry the biggest killer really for any kind of upholstery is going to be the seawater and the uv the sun uh, so whenever you're not using your vessel i highly recommend you always leave the cover on as much as you can to protect the boat also the sun chews into the gel cut over time giving that chalky kind of feel so you know this is why i like to put the boats into storage in the winters because you only get the uv damage over the winter months it's less wear and tear on the paint prolonging the life of the paint and some of you already know we did a full um, paint job last week well the winter before last uh, on board and i want to prolong that as long as possible Unfortunately, we were supposed to do a ceramic coating this year but because of COVID, we've had delays and also slightly our budget's gone down because we're not getting enough charters. So we're a bit uh, tighter with funds this year, but hopefully by next year, we'll be up and running as normal again. All right, that was good. See here, look guys, and you can see on the camera, a bit of salt here that's come through. So while things happened, another cushion I was resting on here, but we had a bit of salt and it's come through. Really important to make sure the deck team cleans it properly at the end of the season and it's properly, properly dry. Otherwise, you get this. Luckily, it hasn't caused any damage, but when you're stirring anything away, you want to make sure everything's been you know, flushed with fresh water, like the engines, all the systems have been flushed, all the lockers all clean and dry and ventilated and well aired. So when you come to the following season, it should be just a quick wash down and ready to go back into the sea. You guys, you can see here, look at that, you can see that? And a bit of WD-40 on there. 
that. That's a D-check. Leave that to soak for a bit. That's good. Right, guys, in case you didn't know, we're offering you the chance to win a week's vacation on board Motor Yacht AWOL. And you can bring five of your closest friends and family. All costs are paid for, fuel, flights, everything's covered. The chase boat is also included, and the main boat, which is just over there in the far left corner. So, all you have to do is go to the link in the description, the raffle link. Click on it, follow the instructions, tickets start from 15 pounds, 20 US dollars, and you could be in with a chance of winning a week's vacation on board a luxury super yacht here in the Mediterranean. Right guys, so the boat's now pretty clean. So we're just gonna now lock up, pack the chamois away, close everything up, and then tomorrow clean the covers, put the covers back on, and then the tender, pretty much good to go. Okay guys, we're gonna end the video there. Hope you enjoyed it. Showed you guys what it takes to wash down a chase boat, a tender, a day boat, whatever you wanna call it. We've got the deeks, we did the full superstructure, we did the hull, done all the decks, and a um, bit of the cushion. Still a few more details to do. Uh, but for me, for now, if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help when you click that simple click of the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any wonderful future videos. Guys, look forward to seeing you all next time.